that community would be if we had no single mothers. If when our men build, our women build too, it would be a society of orphans. The society be, would be way... She got to be a single mom. She got to be a single mom. Only a single mom will believe that single moms are superheroes. She got to be a single mom. She's talking about herself. She got to be a single mom. Women still listen to her. That, that's <sighs> worse off than what it is now. Me personally, I think single parents, single mothers have saved society. Shout out to the single dads too. We appreciate you. But this is because when you see a single mother, like if you see a single dad out, he automatically gets his accolades, right? Like, oh yeah, you're doing it by yourself? Yeah, people don't look down on a single father, but let you be a single mother, right? I'm saying this to single mothers because y'all already get y'all flowers as single fathers, as single mothers. Father Day is not even celebrated like that. Mother's mo Mother's Day is more so than what, what is she talking about? Father's Day is. Oh my goodness! All right. We don't. Society stigmatizes us and looks down on us. But I knew society, she's a single mother. She said it. I knew it. Stigmatizes us and looks down on us as single fathers, as single mothers. We don't. Society stigmatizes us and looks down on us. But they shouldn't. With the black, with the backbones of the black community. There would be no black community if there were not single mothers. That is our biggest problem. The single women out here become single mothers for reasons we can't fathom. You keep picking wrong and you're repopulating the world with ignorant black men that are out here not raised by their fathers, raised by ignorant guys that don't want to be present people. And then the rest of us guys got to sit here and try to fix the damages that you women cause. The damages that you and when we try to tell you stop dating them guys that have nothing going on. You look at us like we're the, the villains. We're evil and stuff like that. We're telling you stop procreating with them guys. They don't deserve kids. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Leave us alone. It. I know a lot of successful black men who would not be who they are today if they rose up with no parents. If their parent, if their mother didn't see something in them to want to stay, they wouldn't be who they are now. Can you imagine where the society would be if none of the parents? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this. Like, do you think our societies will be horrible if we had two parent households compared to single mom? Single mom households is dangerous, detrimental society. These women are sucking up the government funds, putting guys on child support that these guys should never even had kids. And then here's here's worse. They don't even want to stay in their own lane. They want to come to guys that are respectable, responsible on their purpose and tell them I am a valuable woman. Take me and my child into your home and take care of us. And that is a real man. What kind of nonsense is that? What kind of nonsense is that? If you are a single mom, stay single. We ain't dealing with this. So if you're a single mother, you are a superhero sister. And I congratulate you. And I give you your flowers today, even though people don't notice it. We are the backbones of the black. No, you're not. Stop saying it. No, you're not. No, you're not. We black people don't, don't claim single mom nonsense. We do not claim it, approve of it, accept of it. Stop saying you're our backbones. We do not want this nonsense. We do not want this rhetoric in our community. Stop saying that. Society of the black community. There would be no black community if there were no single mothers. Guys, this whole video evolved around this woman. And I was trying to show y'all a treat, which I don't think this show is the best show, but this is a show that I want y'all to understand. This whole show evolved around her. Most of the clips was her from the video of her saying that she is not an average woman. 
She is an exceptional woman. She hold herself to a high regard. She's a musician. She won't settle. She's this. Now she believes she's a great single mother or single moms are saving the black community. She believed that single mothers are saving the black community. Women that are getting pregnant by guys that shouldn't get pregnant by are saving the black community. And women want to sit here and say, Sean, this woman is right. Sean, this woman is the... This is the woman y'all listening to. She believed being a single mom saves the black community. Saves the black community. Everyone would, would have went to the wayside into the system and we wouldn't be here today. So thank you for standing up. And the next time you're out and you see a single mother with her children, instead of thinking negative comments and talking down on her, look at her and tell her, Thank you. You picked wrong and you got issues. You see a single mom tell you picked wrong, you got issues. You have all this option of men. You have all this. Ooh, ooh, no, guys. Babing them is what enabled them. Babing them is what enabling this women. Women like her, who's a single mom, can literally push this rhetoric out here. We are superheroes because we're getting pregnant by guys that don't want to be fathers. How in the what society is pushing this narrative other than black culture? What society is pushing this narrative other than black culture? Well, they're superheroes. Kevin Samuels made a video one time and he was talking about how even in the 60s, 50s, and the old time, the, the 70s, the black mothers was looked at the most prevalent thing. Like, it was great. And they're finding out that nowadays that there was most of them was horrible people. That they are pushing a bad narrative to their daughters. Because I believe at one point he was saying that they started changing their mindset and moving towards the government. And when the government system start picking the guys themselves, start coming out here doing all type of reckless activities. And he's saying that they was telling the daughter to go to school, go be independent. You don't need a man and stuff like that. And then they also let their daughters go out there and be like them and become single mothers. It was a generation where it was two parent households in the black community at one point. And then women start going out there doing their own things. And they start a whole generation of single moms start popping out. And this is where it's at now. You have this woman out here telling some of these superheroes. You, I don't, you picking a horrible man to be with and then leaving that horrible man and saying that he don't, he, he, he never showed accolades to be a, a, a diligent father. And, and somehow, somewhere you believe he did the work of God. The black community do not claim single moms. The black community do not claim single mom. We don't support it. We don't support the ignorance. And we will never uplift that shit. We will never uplift it. We will never claim it. We'll never accept it. And we'll never uplift it. If y'all choose to be single moms, that's a personal choice. And we'll always look down on it. Failures. Failures. Because y'all have answers within the black community of men. We could tell you, don't date that man. Don't date the Pookies and Railroad. We say that all the time. Failures. Failures. Y'all going to keep picking wrong. We're going to call y'all failures. Y'all going to stay single to y'all 40 and 50 and start looking for a man. So your values high failures. We're going to call you what you are. You can go, go delusional, call yourself Superman, Superwoman, whatever you want to call yourself. Failure. You didn't do nothing in life, but I hear procreate with the wrong man. Failure. Like, comment, subscribe. Finally figured it out. Because on that video, it was so many people on there. Like the guys, the ladies had no problem. But it was a lot of guys on my video that kept saying she can get everybody she wants. She can get anybody she wants. And I was in the comment section just reading like, what is the disconnect? Because the ladies all get it, but the guys don't. But then it occurred to me when it comes to men, a lot of men, I'm not going to say all, but when it comes to a lot of men, what are the qualifications that they have in order for them to want a woman? Just for her to have a vagina for ones, you know, that are heterosexual. She has to have something for them to want. So apparently when they say anybody I want, that means anybody that they feel like they want to have sex with. So I think the definition of what 
it wants what it means to want somebody for a woman is different from from what it means to want somebody to a man because of course it's going to seem like i can't get everybody i want because you want everybody that's why all she has to do is be attractive in your opinion you know maybe she isn't attractive to you maybe she just you know has vagina you just want to have sex with her so you automatically want her just based off of your want to want her sexually but with women i know for most women it's actually different like we have to want you intellectually or want you to be a part of our lives and actually consider that a want. It's a difference between attraction and wanting someone for women. I'm not sure if it's the same for guys. Feel free to comment in the comment section. But I think that's where the actual lines were getting crossed is because of like she can't have everybody she wants. It's like, I don't want everybody. So, you I'm gonna call it a night. I'm not even gonna do it. Like I'm subscribed, guys. Like I'm subscribed. Like I'm subscribed. I'm calling it night. It's late. I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs>